Hello everyone and welcome to Terry TV. My name is Thomas Wiggin. So, some great Oscar nominated films are coming our way and the one that really stands out to me the most so far is First Man, which stars Ryan Gosling in the title role of Neil Armstrong. The film is about the Apollo 11 mission, which set the stellar high bar for the first astronaut to walk the moon. Although Neil Armstrong was the first man to set foot on the lunar moon's surface, he was also joined by astronauts Edwin Buzz Aldrin and Michael Collins. This mission was accomplished during the space race. It was a waging battle between Soviet Russia, USSR, and USA, where both countries were trying to beat one another in terms of landing the first man on the moon. Although Russia won the battle in terms of launching the first satellite Sputnik, October 4, 1957, and the first man, Yuri Gagarin, April 12, 1961, into orbit, the U.S. finally took a stand in the Apollo 11 mission against Soviet Russia on July 20th, 1969. So with that in mind, I would like to talk about the film in terms of its reviews and political controversy. Critics from companies such as Rotten Tomatoes and IMDb gave it great reviews and said Ryan Gosling in the title role was very phenomenal and serves as an improvement for himself since his performance in La La Land. And Gosling worked on this film along the, alongside the same director of that film, Damien Chazelle. Colin Jordan said this, I really enjoyed it, but there has been some right-wing political controversy going on about it. They're right. An article from The New Yorker states that the film has a narrow and regressive emotional perspective that shapes and distorts the substance of the film. In other words, the film did not focus on the importance of Armstrong and his team making the first stand for mankind on the moon, but used this milestone for purposes of entertaining Republican ideologies. They're right, and I swear to notice this. This is what they also said. Another critique about the film is that there was a lack of emotion that was shown from Neil Armstrong. At one point in the film, Armstrong finds out that his baby daughter Karen died of cancer. Hearing about this made Armstrong feel very devastated as a father, and this raised a red flag in his relationship with his wife Janet. But when depression hits him, he doesn't allow for this to be shown to anyone. I mean, it's hard. Who would mask that? And throughout the film, director Chazelle is criticized for not allowing the major figure to show this. But even though Neil's lack of emotional expression presents a character flaw, represents character flaw, it is, in Chazelle's view, a virtuous one. In other words, Chazelle did this to depict an idea as to who Armstrong really was, aside from his work as an astronaut. Another statement made by Colin Jordan is that Chazelle also shows that although Neil was reluctant to reveal his depression to others, he deeply mourned his daughter in that he did not allow this to keep him from doing successfully in his career. But what the article from The New Yorker has reported is very controversial. News writer Richard Brody reported that Neil's extreme devotion to his duties, he is represented as patriotic. There's no flag planting, but the movie doesn't stint on the, the, the distinctive Americanism of the action on screen. Earlier, when another space mission is successfully completed, one astronaut bellows in mission control, call the Soviets, tell them to go f*** themselves. <laughs> this sounds not only too nationalistic, but also very ethnocentric, if you ask me. And my friends agreed. So these two um, people, so as from what these two people said, I am also going to add that the film suggests that Neil is very aware of what's going on in the world around him. The majority of the action in the film takes place in Jim Crow states where public facilities were segregated, but this is not clarified in the film. Now, this is hard to understand, and I don't know why something like this would not be given serious attention. 
That is all that we have for today, and please feel free to check us out at SFC Terror TV on YouTube and subscribe to our channel, or like this video if you'd like. If not, that's okay as well. Thank you very much, everyone. My name is Thomas Wigan at The Film Review, and if you haven't had a chance to check us out yet, check us out. We hope you have a great day, and we'll be right back.